What's up guys, Ruptad here and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. I know, I'm still in Lavender Town, so I figured. Nah, forget it. Anyway, in the last episode, we went into the Pokemon Tower briefly to beat our rival's ass again. Well deserved this time too, because of how disrespectful he was being both to my Pokemon and the dead. Jeez. Can you believe it, that guy? Can you believe it, that guy? Also, my Charmeleon was finally nicknamed as Ishmael. Which can mean either from the Moby Dick story or First Son of Abraham, whichever way you want to look at it. Off screen, I also decided to teach Samedi a new move. Since Pikachu is the only Pokemon on my team that. other Pokemon on my team that can learn Thunderbolt, and it learns it through level up in yellow. I decided to go ahead and give Samedi Thunderbolt as well, just to try and cover my bases. Plus, having two normal type moves just seems kind of weird on uh, Nido King, so it gives me a bit more coverage. And I will work towards adding more moves to it as we go on. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to forge on ahead. We're going to leave Lavender Town behind for a little bit. We will be back. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Could it be Jigglypuff? Or Clefairy? I, I didn't think Clefairy was that round. Jigglypuff fits the bill better in my opinion, but... Okay, you apparently think it's Clefairy, so it must be a Clefairy. A Clefairy who doesn't, apparently, can eat embers for breakfast. Ah, burn. Take that. Look at these weak double slaps. Ishmael just take, takes him and doesn't care, it's just glaring at the Clefairy. Ishmael does not approve of your, of your bullshit. Alright. This Clefairy should be going down this turn, so... Yep. Ah. Just die already. Thank you! See? Isn't it nice when you just die on command? Okay, that, that just sounded bad. I'm sorry. There really shouldn't be a command to kill people in real life. Alright, second Clefairy. I would have expected her to have a jiggly puff. Killer bird, take charge. Are you kidding me? Really? Are we really gonna do this, lass? Why couldn't Sleep Claws exist for the actual game? Son of a. Watch. I'm gonna send out some Eddy, and it's gonna use Sing again. Three, two. What the hell? Alright, you know what? I'm done switching. Oh, and of course, now she knows I'm not gonna switch. <sighs> Damn AI. Come on, Samedi. There we go. I think you just pissed off the law of the dead. No, realistically, why didn't I sick some Medi on uh, my rival? It would have been appropriate, the law of the dead taking out someone who's disrespectful to it. I'll keep that in mind for next time, because I'm sure we'll be seeing our rival again at some point anyway. He doesn't seem like the kind to stay away. <sighs> so many Pokemon getting experience, last is beaten. Don't be so mean. You're the one who used Sing on me four times, bitch! <sighs> Whatever, let's just go heal our Pokemon and... get back into the swing of things. Wakey wakey, guys. We need to get moving. Alright, my team has been woken up, healed, and we are proceeding onwards. Uh, Heh, <laughs> this guy. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. Yes, you certainly are. 
Oh, hello, Growlithe. And now goodbye, Growlithe. Again, Wartortle got an extension on its nicknaming. I will be dealing with that the next time I go back to, uh, Lavender Town. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna give it a few more episodes because... I might not stay in our next town for too long and just head out back briefly to Lavender Town just to nickname Wartortle, so it doesn't get too long. Because there's a lot of stuff we're going to be doing in the next town we'll be heading to. Oh, city. As Ishmael grows level 23, excellent. And is that last of the bowl picks, so... Wartortle, keep on cleaning house. Bubble attack, and good night, Vulpix. As we throw a random crit in there, because why the hell not? I really should keep a crit counter. I don't know, I'm gonna propose that again. If you guys want me to add a crit counter, I'll go back and count. Uh, only patch of grass in this route is blocked by trees, and I do not have my cutting Pokemon, so... Ah, oh, well. It's no biggie. I, my team's set anyway. I was mostly just catching Pokemon to fill up my Pokedex to try and get the item finder. And whatever other item I can get later in the game from having 50 Pokemon. Grimer! Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this fight because... I have a feeling this guy's gonna take a while. And it's just not worth showing. Ooh! Gonna pop back in here for a sec because... Ishmael is trying to learn Rage. Um... Do I really want to? Yeah, you know what? For an, I'll get rid of Growl for it, for now. I'm probably not gonna end up keeping Raid, but it's nice to have around in case I happen to need it. And one last Grimer. It's not logical! Oh yes it is, Super Nerd. Lots of crits in that fight, lots of burned. Yeah, two Grimers and a Muck, which is weird, because Grimer doesn't evolve from the Muck until level 38. And his Muck was level 22. Do not want to know what the hell the logic is behind that, but, uh, peel up Ishmael. Alright. What's up next? Uh, whoa! Yeah, you do look silly standing there all in a great big line like that. The hell? Okay, so many people just standing in a line. Just got... Five! Wow! Okay, you know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this, and I'm sure you guys will appreciate it once I get rolling with it, so... Maestro? Music, please!
right, four trainers all in a row. They've been taken care of. Uh, interesting thing about this trainer, she had five Pokemon, as you might remember. She actually has a different last Pokemon, depending on your version. The Nether End Mail I fought is yellow only. In red and blue, that would actually be a Pikachu. She talks about the, the Saffron City Gatekeeper. That's the one guy who also turned us away, as you might recall. Because, uh... The gate's not open, and gee, he's thirsty. Yeah, that guy. I'm sure we all remember that guy. Um, let's put Herbivore up front, because I believe this guy has nothing but a ton of polywags. Alright, let's roll the dice, he says. You're not a rambling, gambling dude like the other one? All right, Poliwag. Fine Whip should make sure work of it. Come on, game, don't make a liar out of me. Really, it's still gonna be a two-hit. Okay. Oh, oh, that was fast. What the? the ah! Seriously? I. Hate sleep inducing moves so fucking much. <sighs> Alright, done with that battle. Two polywags in a poly world and so much fucking hypnosis! I'm really getting sick of sleep inducing moves now. Oh, I did not know he was standing right there. Not good at Pokemon, but how's my chem? Oh, I think I did pretty good in my chemistry classes in high school. Didn't take any in college, but... I don't know. Four Pokemon, so I think you guys understand what I'm going to be doing here in five, four, three, two. Alrighty. Yet another battle taken care of. Good riddance. So we go in here, and... We're talking about the department store in Celadon City, which is actually our next destination. And check it out, another one of the... Actually, you know what? Duh. I have a bike now. Let's speed this up. Let's run through the underground passage. See, look at that. This guy says a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. I'll be keeping that in mind for later. We are now on this side of, uh... Yep. Keep going underneath the ruin, uh... Or Saffron City because we can't actually do anything with it right now. Catch a grass where I'm gonna be able to catch some Pokemon later. But for now, my main concern is just getting over in here to Celadon City. Alright, Pikachu, let's get you and everyone else healed up. And I think I'm going to call an episode here. Not sure where it's going to end up with the cuts I made, not to mention the speed up portion. But, well, look at it and see where things go. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Rupped at. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, we're going to take in the sights of Celadon City and see where we might be headed next. See you guys next time. Take care.